This is Mrs. Jessie at Glasgow High School's Culinary Lab. Today I want to give a few simple instructions to my culinary foods and nutrition classes and, and uh, my life skills as well on how to use this professional Vulcan range. When I finish with the range, also made by Vulcan, is the salamander and I'll explain what, how that is to be used and what a salamander actually is. The first thing I want you to do is Notice here that these are solid burners and they're not on. That's why I can touch them with my hand. They're completely solid. All six of them are. Please excuse our stains around here. We're in the process of getting some stain remover and getting that back beautiful like it was when it was new. Uh, the backsplash here keeps your grease and other splatterings from going all the way back to the stainless steel wall. When you clean this surface, that part is to be cleaned. Look over here to the side of this brigade wall. It's also stainless steel. This is not part of the uh, Vulcan range. You also need to make sure that this area is clean. These burners, this is an industrial strength uh, or industrial um, stove top, and these burners will get extremely hot. And it takes a long time for them to cool down. It also takes a little while for them to get to the right temperature. So it's kind of easy to cause things to boil over, so you really do have to pay attention with these because they're a little different than your electric or your gas burners on a home range. Uh, I'm going to bend down and I want you to bring the camera down to here where my fingers are. These six buttons across here are going to be the ones that control the six burners. And you need to make sure that you come all the way down near your knees so that you can see that this one is for the front. Now there are not numbers. You first have very low medium low, then low, medium, and high. So be careful to make sure that you know exactly what setting that you want to use. I will help you and tell you, give you directions what setting that the burner needs to be on whenever you start to work on a project. Many times students will come in here and they will turn to this one maybe because they're right handed and it's dominant and they'll think they have the correct burner on, but then actually they're on the front um, burner and they have the back one on so be very careful okay um, this bar here opens the oven and again this oven doesn't have a, a window in it so you need to make sure that you know the, the timing and the temperature are correct on your items because you don't want them to have the door open multiple times because that can ruin some of your baking items move your focus over here again you're going to see very low medium low low medium and high, which is much different than what you see at home. Um, you mostly see the degrees, and on this one you can also choose to use the degrees. So if you want to use the red button, if you're looking for 550 or 400 or 300, feel free to use this button. It works just the same as the one above. Okay, that is basic on the range. Uh, let's move up to the Vulcan. The Vulcan, I'm sorry, the Vulcan salamander. The salamander is basically an industrial strength or commercial grade toaster, a browner. For example, if we're going to cook um, a hot brown and we want to cook it in the steam oven or in the combi oven, but we don't have that golden brown caramelization on the top that we would like to have, we can take that dish out of that combi oven where it is cooked through and through and cooked correctly we can place it in here and these coils above will give it that, that uh, caramelization and give it that browning that it, that it needs. Uh, I think because of the height of this and the height of most of my students and the weight of this, it's probably better not to try to use this particular item. I want you to leave that in place and just place your items in there and pull them out. Now know that this is off by the way. If it were on, I wouldn't be able to put my hand up this close toward the coils. If you will bring the camera in here, and I want you to view how close the coils are up through there. I want you to have on a glove. Don't ever reach up in here with your uh, bare hand. And again, the unit is off while you see my hand in there right now. Follow me over here. These are the controls. All right, you again have high, medium, low, medium, low, and very low, and then off. All right, both of these uh, control half half of the coals. All right. All right. That does that. And um, that's the end of our two Vulcan pieces. Good luck.